In 2020, the state of PC gaming was very grim with the pandemic affecting supply chains everywhere and forcing PC component prices to become absolutely ludicrous. Fast forward to 2023, and it's never been a better time to get into PC gaming, with supply chains having ramped back up in 2022, as well as the crypto winter, PC components have never been cheaper. With Intel entering the GPU scene, there has even been a shakeup in the low to mid-tier graphics segment. Additionally, with consoles constantly out of stock, PC games are certainly a good alternative at this point in time. Nintendo even just announced their ramping up Switch production to meet the demand. So whether you built your PC already, bought one, or looking to get into the hobby, there should be some worthwhile recommendations here for you to build up your PC library of games going forward. The typical argument against PC gaming is that it's cheaper and easier to deal with a video game console. While that can be true from the get-go, this doesn't factor in the high price of console games and the fact that you can actually get a good amount of PC games for free with no strings attached to that offsetting the initial hardware costs significantly. Sure, there are gaming services on console and PC that offer free games with a subscription, but you don't actually own those once you stop using the service, which is also an additional cost. In fact, to play any of the consoles online, you must pay for one of the online services monthly slash yearly as well, further adding to the cost of ownership of a console. PC gaming doesn't have an associated cost to play online. I will say that building out your free PC game library requires patience and a bit of dedication. For instance, Epic Games offers two or three free games per week, but only for a limited time. Once that time expires, the games are no longer free, but if you grab them while they're available, they're yours to keep forever as long as you have the launcher installed. You would expect that freely distributed games for no cost would be mediocre at best, but that hasn't been my case with the games on some of these services. In my Epic Games library alone, over the course of roughly a year, I've accumulated over 40 titles, most of them freebies. Among them are Control, Bioshock Infinite, Borderlands 3, DRL, Rise of the Tomb Raider, NBA 2K21, Star Wars Squadrons, Civ 6, just to name a few. The list goes on. That's enough top tier gaming to keep me busy for years to come. And yes, I'm cognizant that I'll probably never have time to play them all. Similarly, but not as known, as it was rebranded from Twitch Prime, last year Amazon Prime Gaming allowed Prime subscribers to take and keep games such as StarCraft Remastered, Far Cry 4, and Madden NFL 22. Some of those giveaways spit out a code you must redeem on game services like the EA app, Ubisoft Store, or Good Old Games, where those titles might also be offered free for a limited period. This isn't necessarily a free option, but given that 82% of US households already have access to Amazon Prime, I thought it was a relatively attainable option to include. Segwaying into the last one, GOG.com's giveaways are usually posted for a limited time on their homepage and get added to your library. You don't need to download and install an app launcher to get them. Some free games I got from GOG in the past have included Fallout, New Vegas Ultimate Edition, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Game of the Year Edition, and a few others. While they don't give away as many here, it's still a very notable option to get games. Steam will even give away free games, but not nearly as often as these other options. My best tip for staying on the lookout for free Steam games is to follow these two subreddits, r free games on Steam and the similarly named r free Steam games. The former is a much bigger subreddit and you can find solid options on there from time to time. In my opinion, these four options are a great way to build a solid library for free if you have a PC or are thinking of getting one. For multiplayer games, it's also a godsend. There's nothing easier than texting some of your friends who have a PC to download a free game with no frills and no risk of not liking the game. This makes shared gaming much easier and can be a fun way of experimenting with new titles within your social networks. My last tip is GeForce Now. If you just wanna try and see if you would be into PC gaming, they have a no cost option that limits you to only one hour of play per session 
and uses lower to mid end hardware, but it's a solid option if you have a weak PC or a Mac and want to try out PC gaming as a comparison to your console or phone or whatever you use currently. I should mention you need a decent internet connection for this option. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you'd like to see another video regarding some of the best game streaming options or perhaps a compilation of the best free to play titles, just let me know and I can make a video for you guys. I think this is a pretty comprehensive list, but if you know of any other relevant sites, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.